So the other families had thrown in with the Chinese then? Fuck no. They hated the Orientals as much as we did, but they thought that Philly was weak by wanting to sit down and talk. They thought they could take us out of the picture. They thought wrong. Shit, Joey. How'd we ever let the fucking Chinese get so powerful? Truth? The families were getting old and lazy. Jade was forcing them out of their territory right under their noses and they never fucking noticed. We were just about the only guys that were going to do anything about it. So what the fuck did we do about it? Some years ago, before the sit-down at Cha-Cha Charlie's, Philly had called me in. He was blowing a gasket. They ain't playing ball, Joey! He was talking about the Chinese again. This Jade Lee bitch ain't making a fucking monkey out of me any longer. Get the guys, get down there, and fucking bury her. I want to see your boss now. Miss Lee has been expecting you, gentlemen. Ah, uh, Mr. Barola. How nice to see you once again. Unfortunately, I really have little interest in speaking further with you or Mr. Lombardi. Yeah, well, you better tell Miss Lee to get her. Gentlemen, please see that our guest leave the premises. <laughs> Very impressive, Mr. Verola. You just can't find the staff nowadays. Jade, get your ass out here now! You owe us, and I'm here to collect. I owe you and that pathetic fat man you call a boss nothing. <laughs> Jade obviously had no plans to pay up, so I was gonna have to do this the hard way. Xin. Okay. Well, fuck you right back. <laughs> the room was empty, but I just knew that wasn't going to last. Anybody home? Hello? Anyone want to try? You gotta be kidding me. Oh, I did try to warn you, Joey. Is that it? Is that all you got? Not quite, no, Mr. Barola. Just a moment. Just a moment. Huh? What is it?
地球。Than that, Jade. You're a very persistent man, Mr. Verola. I'll give you that. But you have definitely outstayed your welcome. <laughs> Some fucking welcome. <laughs> this room was obviously Jade's private collection. If she wouldn't come out of hiding to see me, I figured some wanton and very expensive destruction might just change her mind. Whoa, this shit looks very expensive, Jade. Now, now, Mr. Barola. There's no need to take out your anger on helpless Ooh, inanimate objects. <laughs> You know, I've always wanted to do this kind of shit. Oh, what? <laughs> Ah! <laughs> 
That collection took my father years and millions of dollars to put together, Mr. Verola. Yeah, sorry about that. I just get kind of pissed when people don't pay their and dues. do you always get what you want, Mr. Verola? Yeah, pretty much. Now let's talk about the money, shall Today's we? Today's your Misley? lucky day, Joey. I've decided not to kill you after all. You're too kind. Not at all. But I do want you to deliver a message to Mr. Lombardi for me. My money-paying days are over, as will be Mr. Lombardi's if he ever crosses my path again. I'm hoping I never see your face again, Mr. Verola. Now someone throw this piece of trash out of my office! When I eventually delivered Jade's message, Philly wasn't exactly pleased. This bitch had just jumped the line to public- <laughs>